All right, guys, Demidrit here, and we are reviewing the thing of things. <laughs> we are reviewing Willa Nix Ice Spikes map, Ice Cave, Ice thing, <laughs> something of the sort. Um, hang on, let me move the mic a little bit closer. <clears throat> All right, I hope that's a bit better. Seems legit. <laughs> This is, um, I forget exactly what this command block does. Oh, yeah, it doesn't it add the... Holy! This map looks insane. Skates? <laughs> That's awesome. <gasps> that is so cool! I love it already. This looks so sick. Oh my goodness. Guys, this looks insane. Holy crap. This is so cool looking. I am not going to lie, guys. This looks amazing. Eh, a bit of a lighting error up here, but whatever. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I am... Speechless, except for the parts with me speaking. <laughs> but this looks beautiful, guys. Look at this map. Will and Nick has really outdone himself this time. This is so crazy. Oh my goodness. A lot of people are complaining this will be a lot like caved in. This is nothing like it. Like, sure, there's caves, but holy crap! This is crazy! <laughs> This looks so amazing! Oh! This is... Uh... I can't even... <laughs> it looks like there's some... This is like an ice wave. It looks really cool. I hope he's going to do the same thing on the other side, though. Otherwise, blue might have the slight advantage, unless you count the fact that red is pretty much hidden away. <laughs> also blue, people could hide up here and be like, huzzah! Break. <laughs> anyway, this looks amazing, guys. I thought I was going to log in and pretty much see Caved In, which is another map by him, pretty much reskinned with ice. But this is not the case. This is so freakishly amazing. I, it's, <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Um, this is, I'm like, okay. I'm gonna start explaining a little bit of things. Um, these aren't my actually first reactions to the map. I just loaded up the world, and it is beautiful. Um, with, over the rainbow, over the clouds. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, Tesh, but um, that was recorded with him and I know it might be a little bit more fun to record with him but I don't think m a lot of people would be up for doing that I think they just want me to review it and get it over with almost I think they would find it pretty fun but I just don't f find it very convenient for a lot of people <laughs> it'd be hard to get like especially if there was like eight people who worked on a map you'd hear like people whining and multiple people talking at once in the mics like I'll see what I can do but I don't think it's gonna be something that is going to come out but seriously guys this map is crazy now for criticisms and things like that I think it is honestly amazing I think that the terrain looks great it's I like that some of the sheer clip drops like this I don't know, right there. Just, it just looks very natural and not natural at the same time, but it looks perfect. One thing I have to say is that it's really busy, in my opinion. There's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff for you to take in. I think that's really how a map should go. So I, I like, like, I like some simple maps, like, um, Oasis... Uh, Planet, the first one by Cy Ryan. So, 
It's... But this map is really busy, and it's a good kind of busy. It's not that bad. I suggest adding some lighting over here, like near the important parts as well, like the monument, so people won't be able to hide up there as easily. Like, if we... Maybe. Let's spawn a skeleton. <laughs> if there's a player up there, I'm just going about my business. <laughs> and I'm just going about my business. I don't think I would notice that. Like, if I'm defending, and I'm, like, looking down here, paying attention to down here, and I, like, I just, it's very difficult to notice. I don't know about you guys, but that's how I am, at least. And, boop. <laughs> now you have a trap skelly. Anyway, this map looks amazing. I don't really, there's not very much downsides to it, except for this. Like, I love it. But I feel like there should be one on this side as well. Because right here, it's kind of like... If you don't see the ice, which it's that'll be pretty hard to do. But I can understand it. You'll be like, la 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 la, maybe some guys are chasing you, and boom. You're like, crap, crap, crap. I have to get, I have to get out of this. <laughs> and then water will start flowing everywhere. And it just won't be a good time in general. So I think... I think if one team is going to have it... Then the other team should have it as well. Just kind of a balancer, really. A form of equilibrium, if you will. <laughs> what biome is it? Oh, it's in the Ice Plains biome. Even better. So you got the biome right in everything. That's cool. I just noticed... <laughs> if I hit the pause recording, my FPS boosts all the way up to 115. And then when I hit recording, it goes all the way down to 20. Wow. <laughs> what a drop. Anyway, this map looks crazy. It totally looks cray cray. Now for... Things and stuffs. Let me just go into creative again. Alright. That looks cool. I have no idea what that is. But I feel like... In the Avatar Last Airbender, <laughs> there is a... Um... Ooh. Ooh. Just trying to... Point. Here, I'll just get a sword. Um, in the Avatar The Last Airbender, there's like a fish that's swimming in a pond, and then there's another fish that's like black. I think it'd be cool if he replicated this in the giant ponds and sort of made that kind of thing, like two giant frozen fish in a yin yangish sort of way. I think that'd be really cool. Um, let's get to a bit more of the other things, more boring bits, I think. Except in this map, and in this case, this isn't too boring. This is the monument of the map. It's crazy. It just it looks crazy cool. Um, for amount of blocks, let's just uncover this. Alright. So, we have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 blocks per mon. That's quite a bit. I understand where he's going with it, but I have to say that is quite a bit. Um, this is really close to the wall, so I can see where he was going with it, but just uh, let me just fly over. Um, let's get rid of all speed effects we have, and I'm just going to fly over and show you guys how... Actually, let's just run, because that's, that's really what we're going to be doing. We're going to be probably with our Builder pick. I know it's not enchanted, but with our builder pick, we'll probably be like running, avoiding tons of guys, running some more, running, running, running. <laughs> and it's just, it's a long ways away, I feel at least. It might just be the cave ish sort of thing, and I'm really, it's all really in my head. But I just feel it's quite the long ways away. 
And there's a lot of obstacles, especially if there's like tons of people out here trying to kill me. I'd probably be dead by now. But, and then to get to here and find out there's 30 blocks. If you uncover it, build a decent, um, build a decent base, probably an upside down pyramid model, and have good defenders. 30 blocks seems like a bit too much. So I'm going to say tone it down a bit on that regard. It honestly looks really cool. Maybe replace some of the blocks on the inside with water. <laughs> That'd be cool to like just see it erupt in water if you break it too much. No idea on that. I know um, when I was in charge of Thermo with Lego, we were going to put a lava block inside the monument so when people mined it out, they would get burnt. <laughs> It was really a trolley kind of thing to do, but it fit the map because Thermo is all about hell <laughs> and the nether. Um, but in all seriousness, there's a bit too many monument blocks. Um, now for distance, like I said, it's quite a large ways away, especially with obstacles and enemies. But I feel if you tone the monument blocks down a bit, then this distance would be perfect. It's honestly a beautiful looking map. And I just feel like its distance is perfect. It's the monument blocks that need to be fixed up a little bit. As for size, this map looks like it can be played by like 200 people at a time. This map is insane. It's so huge. Um, that's really all I have to say about it. It's just so crazy. As for just general bits and stuff, the smoothing is insanely good. I love it so much. The blocks, it's very basic, but he pulls it off. Like, it's its pretty basic, but he definitely pulled it off. Um, High Pixel, which I don't know advertising, but it's my video, I can do what I want. <laughs> um, their maps and stuff have... They're, they're really busy, like, I, it's almost to the point where I don't like their build style. It just, it's, I definitely respect the builders and their ability to build, but they're just, it's just a bit too busy for me. I really like simple, clean building, like, laboratory style building. Um, I will eventually, not eventually, sorry, I will occasionally get into, you know, um, ruined towns and stuff, but other than that, I just don't feel like it's necessary to have it over the top, especially with an ice cave. So yeah, the building style is great in this map. <laughs> I love, I definitely love these stalagmites. What I suggest you do, wait, let's check it out. We're going to remove a portion of the glowstone, and I'll be back to see how good it looks without the glowstone. And I definitely done goofed. <laughs> I do like this illuminating kind of stalactite though. It looks really nice, but I feel like it's a bit too dark. Like how, how, how I was complaining about how near the Mon, it's a bit too dark. This is a bit too dark, but I think that looks really cool, especially with some shaders or something. This map would look amazing. Sadly, I can't support shaders because graphics card sucks. <laughs> but overall, this map is great. Like, besides the small things I pointed out, I would say this is like a 9 out of 10. This map is crazy. Now, what I really, really would love to see is my idea suggested before. If I can even find that lake again. I kind of just stumbled upon it. Where are you? <laughs> Let me try and find that again. Anyway, I would really love to see the yin yang fish fishies. Fish of fish fish. Because I think that would look totally amazing. Just imagine walking into that. <laughs> like, to see two frozen fish under the ice. I think that would look sick. <laughs> but I do, I do like this I don't know what is about that, but it just seems something like ancient. I feel like there's some, there's some kind of meaning behind it. It does sort of look like a fishy if you look at it close enough, like maybe spouting bubbles or eating some food. 
I have no idea. <laughs> but I think it just looks awesome. This entire map looks awesome. The lighting is pretty amazing. I like how there's some dark areas and some lit areas. Oh yeah, see, look. Oh wait, never mind. Roof. <laughs> um, but I, I just recommend you light up the roof a little bit near the mon and spawn. Everywhere else, the roof can be as dark as you want. Oh, it's right here. Right here. Like, m imagine walking in and you see a huge fish that way and a huge fish that way, just frozen in place. And then you break in. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. This map is crazy good. I love it. Um, I suggest adding for items. I really like the idea of the skates. I, I think I got rid of them on accident. Yeah, I did. But it's like, it's like a potion that you drink and then it makes you go faster. I actually have an idea for you, Will. Um, is making two sticks and naming them ski poles and then have some command blocks detecting if you're holding the ski poles and then give you speed. Like, and then it, when you let go of them, it takes the speed away, but then when you put them back, it gives you speed, as if you're, like, pulling around. <laughs> I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, for other special things, maybe add some form of Yeti. Like, it spawns once in a while, in the middle, maybe goes around kill some players. It, it would probably be pretty powerful. Um, it would be a cool mob to add, definitely. Maybe a skeleton with no bow, a size modifier to make it a bit larger, and speed, strength, all the stuffs. So yeah, this map is crazy good. I'm definitely loving it. And yeah, I'm gonna say nine out of ten. Those minor changes I suggested would definitely bump it up to a 10 out of 10. Anyway, guys, this is Ice Cavern or Ice Cave. I still can't remember the name. I'm so sorry about that. But it is crazy. So, guys, this is Ice Cavern Cave thing. And I will be off. See you guys later. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like. If you didn't like it, then feel free to leave a dislike, man. It's your opinion. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, guys, have a great day.